Good evening, Madam Mayor and members of the Council. The next several slides will cover the Columbia Heights Police Department 2022 proposed budget. If you have any questions after this presentation, I would be more than happy to answer them. The overall increase to the 2022 police operating budget is 1.42% with personnel increases consisting of a 0.25% increase to the 2022 operating budget. This is due to the departure of more senior officers and the hiring of new officers who are in lower contractual pay steps. There was also an additional reduction in insurance under line item 1300 due to the removal of NICE healthcare cost of 2545 per person per month and fewer employees currently on family coverage. A cost of living adjustment in the amount of $142,300 was also added to the account for uh, to account for the 2022 increases. In the supply section, the police department is recommending an increase of 3% in this area. The majority of the line items in this section are at or near the 2021 funding levels. However, computer equipment line 2011 was increased to accommodate the computer schedule to be replaced in 2022. Gas, oil, and lubricants, line 2282, is budgeted at $5,000 less than 2021 due to the use of hybrid patrol vehicles and a lower anticipated fuel cost for the year. Under other services and charges section, the police department is asking for an increase of 12.27%. This will mainly cover our mandated twice yearly visits to COP competent therapists for officers, which will total $13,000. Included in this section is $5,000 for the agreement with Alexandra House, $2,750 for the Anoka County Public Safety Data System, as well as $6,000 for an external property room audit. The Columbia Heights Police Department is also requesting $104,000 to contract with Canvas Health for a licensed mental health professional to work at the Columbia Heights Police Department. Part of this person's duties and responsibilities will be to include, but not limited to, responding to crises with Columbia Heights police officers, connect with community members to services, and provide follow-up and outreach as needed. This will include connecting with homeless individuals in the city. We will also ask Canvas Health, or Canvas Health to provide ongoing training to members of the Columbia Heights Police Department on issues and strategies related to mental health and crisis. It should be noted that per work session dis discussion, this is a tentative addition to the 2022 police operating budget. A Department of Justice grant has also been applied for this position. At this time, the police department has not heard whether or not it will be receiving this competitive grant. The police department will keep the, up, keep the council updated as to the status of this grant application. Also included in this section is $5,000 budgeted for Captain Markham to attend the Northwestern School of Staff and Command. This is an intensive 10-week program that prepares law enforcement leaders for senior level positions by combining academics with practical applications. This is an important part of the professional development of officers in command and supervisory positions and is excellent preparation for Captain Markham to attend the FBI National Academy at a later date. Eventually, it is my goal to also send the sergeants through staff and command training as part of their professional development. As part of our city policy, this item will also be on the consent agenda for approval at the October 11th council meeting. The department is also asking for $5,000 to be added for specialty training for staff, which will focus on the topic of risk management or a related field. The department is also asking for an increase in $3,000 for additional costs related to the storage for body-worn camera data. In 2022, we'll be in year five of a five-year contract with Axon and we'll likely see additional increases to the 2023 operating budget due to the cost of camera technology. 
Our total recommended operating budget for the police department is $5,785,360. For capital items in 2022, the police department is requesting the purchase of two Ford Explorer marked patrol vehicles totaling approximately $76,400. One Ford F-150 crew cab pickup truck for community service officers totaling $36,900. A crew cab truck for CSOs will provide the capability to tow trailers as well as a bed to haul large items which is challenging for the Explorer type vehicles currently being driven but will also allow for the regular transport of prisoners by CSOs with the truck. The department is budgeting $72,600 for these three vehicles for outfitting. Vehicles will be purchased from the dealership awarded under the State of Minnesota Cooperative Purchasing Venture. Some considerations for the future. Some of the community changes that we are expecting um, is a result of the preliminary, prelim, preliminary census data which shows that the city population has increased. Because of that factor, with additional community development, we, along with community, additional community development, we anticipate seeing an increase in calls for service volume in the coming years. We will continue to analyze, the, analyze this to determine how this will impact public safety and service to the community. The Columbia Heights Police Department recently contracted with Lexapol for policy management and training for which we are prepaid through June of 2024. We intend to include this fee for this service as of the 2024 budget year. Next year, 2022, will be the final year of the body-worn camera contract with Axon. The Police Department will be working with Axon on a new agreement for another multi-year contract. Changes in, investigation, changes in investigations also continue to evolve. As you are aware, major crimes of violence and sexual assault cases in Anoka County are investigated by the Anoka County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigations Division. In the future, we may be reevaluating our, re our protocols for determining which cases are forwarded to CID for investigation and which cases we investigate ourselves. Handling more of these cases in-house would necessitate assigning additional officers to investigations. We feel strongly that we should make every attempt to put our resources towards solving crimes and making arrests when possible in order to better serve victims, reduce crime, and increase livability in our community. The year 2021 has certainly demonstrated that public safety will be facing more challenges in an ever-changing environment. The skill and knowledge required to effectively deal with these challenges requires education and extensive and ongoing training in several disciplines. We have several young and very professional officers, which creates potentially additional, additional training needs. The police department will continue to review its training needs of our staff in order to ensure that our staff is properly trained. We have already changed some of our training methods as community expectations continue to change. It will be necessary to continue to review the training budget in order to make sure that the training that is needed is administratively, is administratively feasible. The Columbia Heights Police Department plans to continue our community policing efforts in order to reduce crime, increase public safety, and build public trust. We have built a solid foundation in this area and we look forward to new opportunities to continue to advance our mission of active partnerships with the community in order to protect life and property, innovatively solve problems, and enhance the safety and quality of life in, our, in the communities that we serve. Lastly, on behalf of the Columbia Heights Police Department, I would like to thank all of you for your continued support in everything we try to do in increasing public safety. And with that, I'll take any questions that you may have.